Cancer, welcome. Let's jump in and see what's going on with who you're dealing with, all right? What are their true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you? Now, keep in mind, it's a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possess777. And I do offer same-day personal readings. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. And well, the timing's still good. But um, I just checked the time. I'm like, ah, oh, not too bad, too late. Oof. All right, Cancer. right away with in regards to who this is that you were dealing with they start out actually like well with your energy but also feeling really good uh being authentic being real like really emotionally successful and headed, heading towards you doing something here with you to the point where i think this person should have already been done with you and like close the door on you maybe you left them already or like close the door on them i don't know but they're not on their end it's not done with you okay now, there is a journey or a leap of faith they want to go on with you, but they're not. But then it's like one that's kind of risky. And then they just drop it and they're like, never mind, let me not use cancer as a physical, financial, emotional, energetic crutch. So they drop that. Now, for some of you, they could be living with you, but they don't have to be. But home is not fun right now. I don't know what's going on, but there's something going on at home that ain't it. It's not stable or feeling successful, or this person cares too much about the crowd and people and image, whatever. Now, what they're saying though is that, I don't know if they're like, they can't offer their love to you or, <sighs> I'm trying to be nice. Cause I'm like, they're kind of like, you know, it's like, so they don't love you. They don't like you. Now they hate you. I don't know. You know what I mean? So it's either or. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's because intuitively deep down they know something, Cancer. And they may stay quiet or like ghost you. I don't know. The thing is, is they still choose to be here with you. Like, you know, um, commit to some sort of path, their own spiritual religious path or with you. They go to guidance to get help. And then they get revealed like to them what is toxic and deceptive and not good that they're involved in with you or doing to you. Okay, and so then they end it with you. Something is over, but then that fast, they show a few things. Either they want to be in a relationship with you. They wanna be your friend, or they are your friend, or they are in a relationship with you or marriage. Okay, so either or. They feel very nostalgic and loving. There's, they're getting, um, you know, um, they're healing. You know, uh, which is nice. Their traumas and all that childhood stuff. It's good. And that's what helps them actually become emotionally disconnected from you. And just walk away from you. Let's see more here. Okay. So, but then that's, okay. What are they doing here? So either they're saying they disconnect from you, but then they're saying like they don't want to share like their wealth or money with you. Or they want to use you financially, like be financially dependent on you or just be greedy, but not really put in the work and do work and go to work anyway. But then that leads into some sort of an idea or like, a you know, maybe a kid, kids, people, whatever. There, there's something here they're kind of wanting to approach and try, but then they don't and they kind of stall it. And then it's like to start this passionate new chapter beginning with you or not. And then they stall it. Do they feel passion towards you or not? They stall it. And then it's like, what's going on on social media? What's going on in the public image? What's what? what are they recognized by you or using you for that? Or are they not? I don't know. They don't know. It's kind of just floating. I don't know what's going on here, Cancer. So let's see more. Okay. Hmm. Well, they're kind of in their strength to do something, but not really. But then all of a sudden they have like, you know, a, a, like a moment of like, okay, no, I, I do love cancer. I care for them or I have fun with them or let me be more loving and give them a message of love or let me do something nice. And it's like, okay. 
okay and then cancer it's back to do they like kind of have a job kind of don't do they kind of work on themselves and then they stop you know like they're trying but not really they stall it with work or money unfortunately this person knows they're being karmic towards you and they're not willing to change that they it's like they they want to use you for gold bottom line is they're using you for your fucking bottom line cancer and you know no one fucks with your bottom line you taught me that because i did it to you <laughs> i'm sorry i'm talking to only one cancer <laughs> Okay, let me get serious. Let me talk to the rest of the Cancer Collective. No, but they're being karmic to you, okay, Cancer? And you know, I care about you all, okay? I really do. You guys know I love you. You know. <laughs> I got two. Sorry, my autism kicked up. <laughs> it ain't right what they're doing here. Smokey, Friday. It ain't right. It ain't right. Miss Parker. <laughs> the Lord, he knows the quote. Cancer. Mm. So I don't like what they're doing to you. <laughs> Let's see more. I hope this crack it up. At this point, I feel like when I get awkward, I'm just gonna use humor. Cause like, you know, if you come from childhood trauma, I think dark humor is something that you are like really good at. Let me know in the comments if you're one of those people. Like you, you, you use your trauma to like, you know, cope with humor. Cause it's just like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Whether you hate me or not, I want you to live and be happy and survive. And I want who's with you to love you and like, who needs stress? We're all dying anyway, soon. The fuck? Let's be let's enjoy our life at least while we can. You know how you know the crazy shit going on in the world right now. Okay, so it's a karmic situation, but whatever. They're not gonna change something here. But they're like, no, 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 no. They're like, hold on. I do budget, I do save, I'm doing better, I'm building and creating. So it's like, give them that, give them that. Okay, cross watcher, you go, girl boy. Okay, there you go. Okay. Okay. Now look, I know what you're saying. Are you all together? You, Leo, Sagittarius, and Scorpio? Because today the readings have been kind of weird. Look, if you're my family, just fucking email me. Okay, come on. Because it's weird giving you guys these readings on my damn channel, guys. <laughs> I'll help out, I don't care. But it's like, okay? And don't get mad at me either, any of you at home. Now the rest of you cancers. No, they're gonna be peaceful with you, which is good. They're like, okay, no, let's, let's really make the peace here. So that's nice. Okay, well, they got a little aggro and garden defensive. It's probably stepmom, but it's fine. She hates me. She's never liked me. It's because I look like my mom, your first wife. Oh, I'm sorry. You guys never married, but anyway. Sorry, you know what? Let me be quiet, Cancer. I'm saying all your deep secrets and stuff. You never got over her. I mean, I'm sorry. You never got over my mother. Okay, I know I look like her. Okay, back to not talking to my father real quick. Then the rest of you, Cancer Collective. Now they're guarded defensive. Now shit's getting a little too messy, okay, in general for the rest of you. And now they don't want to do shit. <sighs> Is your health care still okay? Because this bitch about to stress you out. And if I have to go to the hospital because she started it, who's going to get a fight? I'm about to get her. We're not doing this. Hey, I was taking care of you and giving you your damn pills. Anyway. The rest of you cancer, sorry, I had to talk to my father real quick. <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, um, I, love and light to all of you. I do love you all, okay? I really do, okay? Even though we ended it bad. But the rest of you cancer collective, still, whoever you guys are dealing with, they're just gonna not do shit now? Like, what? <laughs> the fuck? Hmm. Anyway, I gotta be nice. <sighs> you can be dealing with a cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. All right, thank you, bye.